Hey, welcome D-Lab everybody. In this video, I'm going to explore the possibility of using a voltage doubler power supply in a standard Class A amplifier build. Should be fun. Let's go. So here on the screen, we have my little prototype setup. So I have a power transformer going into a little voltage doubler circuit. We're monitoring the current and the voltage with the two meters that you see to the right. So the purpose of this little experiment is to find alternatives to the high cost of tube amp power transformers and to enhance the hobby through experimentation. So I'm going to show you how the circuit works and I also flash a picture of the schematic so you can follow along. Well this is something I've always wanted to try. Take a power transformer not intended for a tube amp application, boost that high voltage and run one. So I've read articles online that the circuit could supply voltage but not enough current to drive a tube output section. Well, here it is. So the power transformer came out of a military piece of test equipment. It's got dual primaries, so it could go 120 or 240 volts AC. The secondary happens to have a 115 volt winding and a 6.3 volt AC winding. So I built a voltage doubler circuit for the 115, which is going to step it up to approximately 290 volts DC. All right, so I'm going to fire this thing up, and you can see the voltage doubler at work. All right, so I'm going to apply power to the transformer. It's going to output 115 volts AC, and we are going to voltage double that and rectify it to DC. So you will see the DC voltage on this meter, and on this meter, we're going to actually monitor the current through the circuit to see if it can really deliver the milliamps required to drive a 6V6 tube. So you're going to see approximately 300 volts here. I have a 10K resistor, so you should see the milliamps on this meter. I'm plugging it in. So we have about 297 volts and, of course, 29.6 milliamps. So the voltage doubler circuit is working and it is stable. It can deliver enough current to drive a tube amplifier. Well, here's a little note in case you guys decide you want to build one of these voltage doubler circuits. You have to ensure that the voltage doubling caps are rated high enough for the application. After doubling and rectifying that 115 volt AC, it turns into almost 300 volts DC. So for this little circuit, I used a pair of 100 microfarad caps at 450 volts. All right, so this little bench test proves that the circuit can deliver the high voltage and the current needed to build a little Class A amplifier. The beauty of this circuit is, is the AC has been doubled, but it's also rectified and filtered. So now you can take that direct to the plate of your output tube. I've built a little Class A amplifier which integrates this same circuit. So let's see how it performs. All right, here's the little amplifier that I put together for this demonstration. This is that same power transformer. We have a Fender Champ lineup, Class A 6V6, single ended output transformer, and 8 ohms. Take a look underneath. There is the voltage doubling circuit plus the cap for the screens and the preamp. The heart of the amp is my little D-Lab ECB AT board. So this is a Class A driver with tremolo. All right, let's hook it up to a looper and see how it performs. All right, I have the amp powered up and at this time I do not have an input connected because I'm sure many of you are wondering how's the noise floor on that power supply versus a standard tube amp power supply. Okay, well she's on. Now shut up. Let me tell you the uh, controls. Volume, tone, intensity, speed. Right now, volume's all the way down. I have an external speaker hooked up. Absolutely no signs of hum. 
I'm going to bring up the volume. That's full volume. Here's my tone. Bring up the intensity, probably hear the tremolo. So the power supply is very clean. So I've connected my looper so we can hear the audio coming out of the amplifier. Here we go. bring up the tremolo. Speed it up. can see this is a perfect application for this voltage doubler circuit so as you know the high voltage transformers out there are very expensive but if you scout around on eBay these little transformers show up for cheap so I hope this information was interesting to you there are alternatives to the high cost of power transformers now finding this exact one obviously would be a stretch but there's all types of these lower voltage power transformers available out there online. So you get that, pop in your voltage doubler, and you can build an amp and save yourself quite a bit of money. Thank you again, everybody, for your support over the last few months while I've been setting the foundation of D-Lab. This is my full-time job now. Things are going great, but I really need to start building my subscriber database, get the word out, so that I can grow. D-Lab is here to help you guys with repairs, share technology, and of course, enjoy the hobby. Mm -hmm.